Recently, the federal government announced a $12 billion relief package for farmers to be distributed by the USDA. NBC4's Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey met with some farmers who will be receiving that aid to find out if this will save the day or if it's just a band aid. According to farmers I talked to, this aid package is anything but a bailout. In fact, it's barely going to help at all. But in this situation, they say every little bit of help is appreciated. It's almost time to harvest, and tariffs have driven down commodity prices, putting farmers in a tough spot. Not all of them, but across some commodity groups, even with the aid package that's coming out, we're still going to see farmers who are having a loss in terms of farm income. Kyle Smith and his father grow corn, soybeans, and some wheat. Pretty big gap between what uh, they're going to offer and, and what we lost, uh, and virtually nothing on corn. Aid is just one cent per bushel of corn. We lost 11 percent out of the market. One cent is pretty insignificant. Their soybeans will get a little more in aid, but not nearly enough to make big ticket purchases in the off season. It, it would have been really tight. We probably wouldn't have made any money at all. Farmers are used to the uncertainty of weather and in markets, but trade wars inject insecurity into the equation. Part of this insecurity also gives them insecurity in what am I doing my actual farm fields next year. I'm not sure that most farmers know what their plan is for next year. Is that a scary place to be as a farmer? It is absolutely a scary place to be as a farmer. Can you handle another year like this? Some could. I could, possibly. You know, it depends on what the markets are, obviously. Um, some folks won't be able to. Kyle says this tariff situation needs to be resolved quickly because there is a trickle-down effect to the economics of it all. The less money farmers like he make, the less money they spend in our communities, and that will eventually affect our pocketbooks. Local for you in Clark County, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.